people started coming to me, hey, can you do a sketch of me too, or can you do my portrait, and that kind of thing. And then I, I see a hard worker, and, and I just want to, I just wanted to capture his, uh, his spirit, you know. And so that's what I've been doing. I've been trying to. Get yeah, Jim was a hard working guy, and when I first met him, he had this long hair, and I think he gave it. He grew it down to his shoulder, but he, uh, I gave that to the cancer uh, people, right? And, uh, and now it's shot. And uh, uh, I thought he was a hippie at first, but uh, it turns out, you know, that's why he was doing that for. He was a, he was a really nice guy, and uh, he's a good family man. And uh, I I thought, uh, you know, I thought he was the the worker, but it turns out he was the foreman, and he had a lot of personality. And uh, I took his picture because I thought that was really nice of him to to do that with the Bob Harvey thing on top of the I beam. Uh, the Bob Harvey, he lost his uh, uh, life in uh, the crane accident in the Quincy Shipyard. Uh, they were trying to dis disassemble the uh, the crane, and the uh, piece of it fell on me and killed him. So uh, he was part of the uh, Iron Works at Boston Southern, and uh, because of that, they wanted to indicate the, a beam to him up there and uh, express their, uh, you know, their sympathy towards that accident. This is a, uh, another school teacher. She walks by in the morning. I used to talk to her. Good morning. But I, I used to wonder why she always was black. She told me she wears. <laughs> you go. Good. She told me she wears black because of the. Uh, you don't have to uh, uh, pick colors in the morning or anything like that. You don't have to figure anything out. But uh, so I called her the lady in black, and in Spanish it means la dama uh, la negro. Okay. <laughs> uh, this guy is a uh, student at. Uh, uh, Roger Williams University, and he's studying uh, civil construction management. And uh, his name is Max Martin, and he's a good guy. And he's out there working right now, and uh, uh, he's he's a hard worker, and uh, he's he's learning a lot because he's on site, and he's gonna be going back to school probably in a month. And uh, this is uh, Kim Gibson. She is the uh, area supervisor. She graduated from the Maritime Academy, down Bourne. And she didn't want to spend four months in the ocean, so she decided to be an engineer uh, building schools. And that sounds like something like girl would do, right? <laughs> and this guy is a hot spook. He stood behind the fence a long time trying to get in. He's a steel worker. But he finally got in. He finally got in. And uh, once he got in, and the poor guy only worked a month. But he was a, a professional boxer at one time. So I said, look it, I'll draw you a picture of you and I'll do it as a boxer. And uh, when I gave him the picture, he got laid off that day. So I, I gave him just in time, and uh, he gave me a hug for it and all that kind of thing, and I told him I'm not that way. <laughs> <laughs> now this guy, he just came up about a month ago or so, and that's uh, Brian Texeria, and he works for Eli Martins, and he's half um, Mashpee Indian, and Cape Verde, and he's a fisherman. And I always, I told him I used to go down Mashpee and fish years ago, and I would always try to catch the first striper. But the Indians would catch them before I do. So I said, I'm mad at you because you'd always get the sports. There was a sports store that would give an award, like a fishing pole or something, whoever catches the first striper. And the Indians will always beat us, Mashpee Indians. This guy's uh, police officer Kent Yi. And uh, I did a little uh, detail work. I didn't actually do physical detail work with him, but I was out there on my post, and I uh, got to know him. And he was telling me that he's an ABC a Chinese. I said, "What's ABC? So American born Chinese, first generation." I said, "Well, that, then that makes me ABS." He said, "What's that? American born Swede, <laughs> first generation." And uh, this is uh, Dave Cahill. He's a laborer, and uh, he was here. In 2009, 2009 was tough for you. It rained for three months. It was cold, it was wet, it was dirty, and uh, he was in the pits with all the rest of the laborers building the uh, foundation for the school. And uh, now he's back and it's not so bad as it was in 2009. He's a good kid, he plays baseball, and uh, that's why I got Dave is also a very solid player, because he, he plays a lot of that in the summer. He's, uh, he's, he's, the, uh, he's related to uh, the guy running for governor, uh, Tim Cahill. Steve Garnett, he's a clerk of the works. This is a man you can't stop to talk to 
because he'll talk forever. Okay, he'll talk and talk and talk. And if you have to go someplace, you'll have to say, "Excuse me, Steve, I gotta go." <laughs> if he's a good guy. And he okay, Frank uh, Santoro. He's the principal of the school. Uh, he's done a lot of tours, so I used to make in front of him doing tours when he comes through. I said, "Are uh, uh, they paying you yet for this? This kind of thing." But he, he's very, he's very conscious about safety and everything. He'd take uh, six or seven people through the building, and sh he showed them, you know, through the construction, uh, uh, um, you know, until uh, j even I think he's still doing it, and uh, I think he's proud of how this building is coming and and that kind of thing. And he should be, it's because it's a beautiful building.